Hey bosses, one of the most important things to know how to do when live streaming is actually sharing your screen. And this is so great for entrepreneurs of all kinds because we want to show the programs we're using. We want to show the behind the scenes of things. We want to show off imagery. We want to make sure that we are showing and educating people within our businesses and showing them on screen is going to be incredibly helpful. So how do we do this? Well, you can't do it natively on Facebook or YouTube, but if you're using a third party app like BeLive, which you guys know, I talk all about be live all the time one of my favorite platforms ever and they allow me to do so much when I'm live streaming like customizing my branding making sure that I can share imagery making sure I can have people on screen with me and screen sharing so if you haven't checked them out make sure you check out this video it is definitely worth your time and effort and one of the best things is screen sharing and it's so easy through the platform so let's take a look here when you get into be live all you're gonna do is go over to the left hand side on the toolbar and you're gonna go down to the little icon right here and all you have to do is click it then it's going to give you the option of using your Chrome tab it's going to let you pick your screen. It's going to let you share your entire screen. Whatever you need to do, go ahead and click on it. And then it's going to drop it down into the green room down below. So it's going to be an option for you to then share on your screen. You don't have to have it up the whole time, but it's ready to go. And at that point, you can go ahead and you can pull up that screen whenever you need to. And you can make it big. You can split screen. You can do whatever you need to do. You can even do picture in picture. So you're still on air. In fact, I use this when I am doing Photoshop live for my students to be watching. I will pull up my Photoshop screen. I'll make it full screen. And then I will be down in the corner educating them on how to use the tools within Photoshop so that they can create whatever piece we happen to be doing that day. I love, love, love this feature because it allows me to screen share and show behind the scenes. So if I was a Facebook ads person and I was going into my screen, I would want to be able to show what buttons to hit. Or if I were a photographer and I was showing the behind the scenes of how I retouch my clients' photos, this would be a great way to show off Photoshop. If I was giving a tutorial or I was educating on something or I was educating someone to how to like stream, I would actually use this function so that I could go into the system and show them without just having to explain it. It's pretty cool, right? Sharing your screen is so important and every single entrepreneur can find a way to screen share. And when you do, that gives people this trust factor because you are taking them behind the scenes. You are clearly not hiding anything. If you just showed an image of something, they might think that maybe you altered it or maybe you're not showing the full thing. But when you screen share, honey, there's no hiding things. This is a great way to establish that trust factor and really give people a look inside of your business and what you're doing. But you do need to use it properly. So if you know when you would like to screen share inside of your business, I would love to hear from you. Jump in the comments and tell me where in your business would you screen share? Where would you screen share? What would you screen share? How would you use this to educate your people and onboard them to then eventually buy your product or service? I would love to hear from you guys and hit me down below. What opportunities would you love to see for screen sharing? Now, if you've got questions on live broadcasting, we are continuing our live broadcast hack series. You don't want to miss this one. I'm breaking down everything you need to know about beating the algorithms because right now the algorithms are all about those live broadcasts. Think about it because people have to take time to decide if they want to watch a live broadcast. And because you're there in real time, they're going to take a little bit longer than if they were just watching a video. And once they've jumped into your live broadcast, if they decide that they like it, they're going to stay until the end, no matter how long it is, because once they're invested, they're invested. They don't know how long your video is going to be. So if they see a video that's seven minutes, maybe that's too long for them. Maybe a 13 minute video is too long for them, but there's no timer on a live broadcast. It's live in real time. And so they will stay for an hour, for two hours, for however long you were teaching or speaking because they didn't know. And now they're invested. Pretty cool, right? Live streaming is one of my all-time favorite things. It is the best way to work with the algorithms right now, and I love the ability to screen share, but I'm not done yet because we're continuing this series. Hit the subscribe and notification bell because in the next video, we are talking about how to live stream when no one is watching. And I know that's a huge fear for us. Having a live stream and nobody shows up, it's a thing. It's a thing. It even happens to me sometimes, and you guys know I've developed this really great platform at this point. So here's the deal. In the next video, we're going to break down exactly how to cope with that and how to kind of make sure people are showing up. So I'm really excited for this one. Make sure you are sticking around. Hit the subscribe and notification bell because every Tuesday and Friday I drop brand new videos. Every Wednesday I do a live Ask Me Anything Q&A at 10 a.m. Eastern right here on YouTube. And every single Thursday at 3 p.m. we do the Social Media for Bosses talk show where I'm bringing you amazing mentors, teachers, and leaders in the industry 
to get your profitable business going through your smart social media marketing. You do not want to miss out. Plus, we drop brand new episodes of the Social Media for Bosses podcast with completely unique content every single Sunday on all the streaming platforms. So stay tuned. Big things are coming. I can't wait. We're going to talk all about how you can prepare yourself if no one is showing up to your live streams and how to make it look like all the people are showing up as well for those replays. It's going to be great. I can't wait to see you there. If you've got questions, go ahead and drop those down below. Hit me up, kmrobinson.com, for all of my trainings, behind the scenes, the tutorials, the freebies, the extras, the amazingness, and make sure you are hitting up socialmediaforbosses.com for the talk show and the podcast. It's going to be lots of fun, and I will see you guys again in the next video as we continue our conversation about how to build your platform through live streaming.